Welcome to One Message in Bottle Tarot. My name is One, and uh, I'm your spiritual advisor. Uh, welcome back to all my beautiful messengers all around the world. I don't know why I'm smiling. I just feel good. I mean, shit. I don't know. It's a good feeling. Taurus season. Okay. Day one. Like, I love it here. Like, I don't know. I have my uh, chart is like Taurus allegedly until i get you know i gotta dial a few but the majority of it like is so yes i'm excited about it uh taurus somebody is like missing you baby uh i don't know they like make it like it was i know we can do it somebody's reminiscing okay you always know when you tune into uh, this channel it's gonna be something playing in the background all right i'm usually a classic girl you know Delusion, yeah, man. Somebody got it bad for you. Also, don't delude yourself, all right, about yourself or anyone else, okay? However, that relates to you, uh, Taurus specifically, and just the general collective in Taurus season, okay? I feel like if you have that open transparency, like we saw before, then that will cut down on the delusions and illusions, all right? Mm. Yep, that's that money green tourist season. A reframe divine love, okay? I feel like um, you're going to figure out a new way to do something or to move in love. It's definitely giving a love language, but just in life, even divine love for yourself. You reframe your thinking, you change your mind, you adjust your perception, all right? Uh, a lot of focus, but is making sure that you have your focus on the right things, all right? Self-care and, and all that um, as a thing. Yeah, somebody is like, oh, but we, I don't want to talk about them, okay? Because I feel like, again, you definitely have somebody pining and you might feel that energy. Or you may be doing this shit. This may be you, okay? I'm good. I'm not pining for nobody. I didn't went through my little list. You know what I mean? Like, it took, like, a couple years. Like, I've been doing my shadow work, so I don't know about you, okay? So, if you haven't been doing the work, then maybe you are pining for somebody. But if you have been, then most likely somebody's pining over you. Your goodness, the way it was, uh, probably been taking advantage, keep it 100. But anyway, for the collective messengers, let's see uh, what Taurus season holds for you, which we focus on. I'm going to pull a divine oracle. Uh, for you, give me two because I don't want to be here. Yeah, be yourself. Okay, every person has their own personalized study plan in this art school. Period. It's a fine university, bet. Period. Period. You stand out from the crowd. Okay, like they, you know what? It's okay, bitch. I love the energy this card is giving because look how this part, look how. <laughs> Look how you surrounded by all these spectators and all these gawkers here, right? Here you are, you know, you have people that may want to um, have an interest in not seeing you seeing. You see how the feather or the, not the feather, the leaf is going over the beak, like closing your voice out. But anyway, look at that. That's what this card is. Yes, because you're an individual, all right? Everyone has their own individual personalized study plan in this earth school and you don't know the next man and the next man doesn't know yours and people like to think or move like they know yours or intercede on yours and that's what fucking get in trouble but anyway it's all these spectators but they act like they not spectating you see how the back is turned all right people uh may judge you or uh try to make you feel some type of way about your individuality who you are how you do things how you operate you know they 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 pretend like they don't see you but they do again i've been saying that all week uh, i feel like holy spirit just has to remind me even with the work the content that i put out whatever where the fuck you catch me at and the main theme has been like they might not like it like click the like button but they see that shit like yeah that's what this is like bitch you see me hi stl shout out you see me you know so yeah i feel like you're definitely um coming out here or should be all right 
Uh, get on your path, all oh, God's plan, whatever that is. Yeah, it'll be some opposition. It'll be some haters. They'll say they ain't going to look and they may not acknowledge, uh, acknowledge you. But you are the main fucking character, okay? Boop, there you are, right there. And here's the uh, the holy man coming down. Like, you're going to be good. You're going to eat. You're going to be good regardless. Yes, give me that fucking scripture. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Yes, I don't know which ancestors that was that jumped up, but it's divine. Okay, um, the birds they don't worry about shit. From what I heard, okay, their only job is to fly. Damn, that's a whole salmon. I love it. Come on, hair fun energy. Okay, they don't worry about nothing. That's what we need to be like the birds. Just fly. Don't worry about nothing. Spirit got it. God got it. You got it. Or whatever people may act like they don't see you or, or, or your cousin it don't even matter you are the main character in Taurus season and that's what you need to know embrace your individual individuality okay be open to receiving God's blessings yes I like that receiving okay this coming straight down from the whole look at the sun in the background <laughs> I love it okay I love it. This is the holiest of holies here. The divine dove. Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust. <coughs> and to trust my inner guidance. Bitch, that's hard. But I, it's a muscle I'm working. It's a muscle that I'm working. Okay? And I'm starting to love it here because I'm like, oh, okay, shit, kind of uh, pulling up. You know what I mean? I just, okay, so be open. For one, I'm hearing in Taurus season, also Tauruses, but just uh, know that you are worthy of good things. How good does, I mean, some people don't like the sun. You know what I mean? Um, one second. Some people avoid the sun. Okay, um, they don't like going outside, they don't like the sun on their skin, they worry about getting burned, they worry, you know, like, and that says something, kind of, to me, right there, you know what I'm saying, like, people, they do coverings or umbrellas or whatever, whatever, some people don't like the sun, uh, you're a sun child, though, okay, so, embrace that, embrace the light, okay, and show gratitude, yeah, man, come on, Holy Spirit. Thank him right now ahead of time. <laughs> right now ahead of time. It's already done. All right? It says, fill me with gratitude for all that you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Like, look, I just want to represent you. Gang, gang. Okay? Gratitude. Gratitude that you are a chosen one. Gang, gang. All right? You could have been anywhere in the world. Chosen to be any, anything in the world. But you're a gang, gang. God's gang. You hear what I'm saying? GG. Whew. Man. They mad about it, though. But look at you. Didn't I just... Ain't that you? Right there, the bird. Look. Holy Spirit said, I'm providing. Okay? You worry about nothing. Nothing. Even if they don't find a, a flower, can't find a flower, they can always find a, a fly to a balcony. Or somebody going to have something out for the hummingbird, for the birds. It's like you flying. Like, that's amazing. And I'm standing up here looking at you flying and all of your, where the damn card at? Here, that's God. Woo, some of you are about to come across amazing, like, things if you just go. And I don't know what that means for you, but all I heard is just go. You know what I'm saying? But yes, uh, the birds are always provided for. We love looking at birds, bird watching. We bring them food. I mean, think about it. Shit. I don't know. Man, birds kind of dope. Until you come across somebody want to shoot you out the fucking sky. That's a whole different thing. Like, why would you do that? Like, why, why would you shoot a bird? I don't know. Uh, maybe tourist season, animal rights, or things like that will become a thing. Like, they be more strict. I feel like they're going to run out of food. No tea, no shade. Like, with the food shortages. But that's I ain't, you know, I'm just supposed to leave that over there. I'm just saying, but I feel like people are going to get particular about the animals or like save the animals, save the earth or something like that. Some Noah shit, you know what I mean? Just like we got to repopulate this motherfucker. I don't know. I don't even know where they came from, but it came. So I'm going to just leave it over there. Outside of that, yes, you'll be provided for it. To start thanking God right now. Start thanking Holy Spirit right now. Where are we at? Okay, 9.55, yes. And that was on the 55, so yes. That is already done. Stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. 
you'll soon trust that nothing more will come that can be handled in each moment period okay you ready but the main idea is to show uh, gratitude and start giving thanks now that the provision is here and you ain't gotta do nothing outside of being who god called you to be all right like it's your individual plan like nobody can write that for you you know what i mean like i don't think people understand that because people try to impede and assert or whatever but at the end of the day I mean, I feel like God put the damn stars in the sky. So I don't, I don't know. Okay. But yeah, stand in your truth. All right. And be ready to receive the goodness of the Lord is what I'm hearing. All right. Uh, ways to energize during tourist season. Okay. Ways for the collective to energize. During, I don't know that word. I don't know. That's like. Okay. Find a photo. Put your pictures up. Okay, put your, uh, I guess that's on the uh, homework thing. We got all them damn pictures in our phone. Uh, Spirit said, put the motherfuckers on the wall. Like, I don't know, print them out, whatever, whatever. I'm pretty sure all of us need to do that collectively. So maybe we will just need to store uh, memories, all right? Um, I don't know, it's giving like some internet and stuff. Didn't Verizon, um, they have phone outages today. I don't know how long the service, uh, <laughs> I don't know how long the service thing was. I don't be paying attention to none of that technology set. My head hurt. Like, I can't. You know what I mean? So I can't wait till my nigga get here because he could just inform me. And I'd be like, oh, okay, great. And just move on about my business. But it was a whole outage with the uh, Verizon telephone, whatever. People couldn't make calls. My shit on D&D anyway. So, I, you know, it didn't affect. Like, I, I don't want to talk to nobody. But who the fuck I want to talk to? Uh, anyway. Some with your pictures here. I ain't gonna read all that, but I'm saying, uh, get your pictures printed out, okay? Come, oh, my baby, y'all, hold up. You got me messed up. How much did I miss? Yes. Listen, I'm sorry. It's probably the only nigga I'm cheating on my man with. And he did. I mean, he just, you just, I don't know what to tell you. It's Teddy Pentecost. I don't know what to tell you. I, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, child. Is that cancer energy? Somebody please uh, put that in the comments. Okay. Collective. What is it giving? Because, oh my God, what do I do? I messed it up. Hold up. But anyway, yeah. People will uh, watch out for people trying to push <laughs> push your buttons. Only if they're pushing them in the right way. That look like a good foot rub. Yeah, go get a foot rub. Go get a massage, you know. Definitely, all right. I also feel like uh, whatever you come through with, here in tourist season, I'm hearing pins and needles, like you'll have people on pins and needles, all right, about what you're going to do, your movements and all that, how you finna show up. I don't know why they worried about how you finna show up in your life. It's your journey, but I just feel like people are pressed, so watch out for people pushing your buttons, okay? Be ready to walk away if need be. This is also giving, um, you know, if you go to the town and they don't receive what the hell you got to say from the good Lord. Then he says, shake the dust from your feet. And, you know, once you shake, people be mad that you shook. I don't know. Just do what you got to do. But don't do too much. You know, you're in receiving mode. I feel like any distraction that comes up is just a distraction from the, the Holy Spirit, your blessings, all of that. This is a time of, in spite of everything that's going on around us. You understand what I'm saying? In spite of all of this i feel like some of you are very uh tapped in okay said do it to me and i do it to you i said do it to me have a good time uh regardless of what it looks like uh do your best <laughs> yeah babe didn't i just say that mental health day take care of yourself okay relax 
All right. Uh, be careful with your vacations. You see this cough, cough in the background. Make sure, you know, that you are protecting yourself and keeping your mask, your sanitation, all that's going. If you don't want to do that, cool. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying that she ain't got on no mask and it's like, huh, this one ain't got no mask. Cough, cough. So watch out for that. All right. Save yourself the whole mental trauma and all that and uh, not even have to deal with the situation. Go ahead and suit up until the coast is clear, but it ain't going to be clear for a while. But you will already know that if you're a day one messenger. You already know what it is, okay? But, yes, for tourist seasons, please take care of yourself. Take mental uh, health day, even with your children. If you have children, things like that. You know, they'll let you know. You know what I mean? Sometimes kids get burnt out. They be like, mom, dad, you know. And even though we were grinded to the bone coming up in childhood, and that's just the way, break these generational curses and, you know, let's uh, let these uh, damn star babies fly. You know what I mean? Yes, you can hold down certain heritages and everything like that, but just move according with the timeline. Uh, this timeline right now is very, very fucking harsh. You know what I mean? So not only, I mean, you know how fucking fragile you are, I feel like, at any given moment, uh, Currently, you know what I mean? So just imagine the weight of that on the kids and the children and then adding any of, you know, other ridiculous bullshit to it. You know what I mean? Hopefully you're not, but again, people are either present or, or they're not. You know what I mean? Kiss sugar, bye-bye. Give me one more. That is sexual healing. I'm gonna be having sex. Yes, bitch, I needed this. I'm out of here. Listen, I'm not hustling to be seen. I'm hustling to, you understand. Like, I be working. Like, I, you know, I don't know. We've always been hard. Uh, I don't, everyone in our, my family pretty much hard working, but it's just the, the different things that people want to work at work. Towards. I think that was always the issue and that may be the issue for you in your life with people telling you again about your dreams what you're trying to do um, they support but they kind of don't they show up but they kind of don't but at the end of the day the only person you need is you I say all that to say money is no object where you're going like you're good like you're good okay Yeah, get green energy. Plants, clean eating, clean living, like all of that. You have really beautiful and all, just thank God that it's already done. Okay, some of you are walking into extreme wealth, a comfortable wealth, like a, a clean wealth. Like, you know, I feel like that's the kind where you can look at yourself in the mirror. I don't know. There are other kinds, but at least that's the kind that. I've manifested, you know, where I'm good. I'm good with God. I'm good with me. I'm good up and down. And we doing things that we, you know, uh, we can't say the world, but we can change the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's what they have said. <laughs> Let's get a fortune cookie energy here. Tourist season for the collective property. You gonna own some shit. Okay. Property purchase for sale. All right, security concerns and any transactions. All right, so some of you will definitely be moving, purchasing a home, getting a car, property, whatever that is to you. Okay, I said money. All right, a family home. Yes, where you can put up your photos. All right, you're going to be having sex. I Okay, existing relationships could find you passion and heightened sexual attraction. Opportunities for me. I, listen, it's on a board. Okay. Opportunities for marriage. And uh, what does it say? And a good family. I said a family home. Life or a strong, but if single, beware of temptation. That could lead to trouble. Okay, that's that X, that return Laverne. I think we got a Mercury something coming up. <laughs> All right. Uh, a child will also bring great joy. Okay, so... It looks like, yeah, marriage, family, babies, like all of that, like um, good life. And whatever Fergie has said, okay, <laughs> give me one more for the collective, what they have to look forward to for a tourist season, okay? It looks good as what I want to, uh, yes, 
and your hard work is paying off, bitch. I know. I like that's all I can do. That's what I was saying. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bring me back to the work. Positive work outcomes. Consistent effort will bring rewards, and a major purchase is worth making. Okay, we look at the numbers, but yes, uh, your work is definitely paying off. Again, I was speaking on. I come a uh, from a family of extremely hard workers, whatever they do, but a lot of the uh, prejudices came in uh, ideal. Like, what is happiness? What is abundance? What is wealth? What is security? What is all that, you know, to you? You know what I mean? And your, your idea of one thing, that's cool. But if I want to pursue that, that's another thing. So it's about respectability a lot of times. And I feel like towards whatever your passion was, uh, or collective, whatever that thing, all right, that you want to do different, you wanted to, uh, you know, maybe even your family felt like you was turning your back because you didn't follow the tradition or the way that, you know what I mean? Just like you carved your own path here, all right? They're going to see you reap uh, so much abundance. You're going to be that person in your family where they finally believe like an example of like, wow, that's God or that's nothing but God. Or look at how, you know, it's more than and there's nothing wrong with 4OK and all this. But I'm talking about real like money you ain't never seen before you know what I mean like some of you are really walking into that because you realize you looked around you realize what time it is and it's just like okay let me get myself together as best as I can and figure out you know how can I assist God and all this bullshit what he needs me to do and once you made that pivot things have been opening up things have been blossoming up or they should be or this is where you know you kind of need to be headed here if that makes sense but yes positive work outcome so uh i said all that to say bitch i've been working like i'm burning both ends of the candle trying to handle the ad whatever and all the you know but uh, when i'm working like i feel like i don't know uh, it could be a tourist thing okay or maybe some of you, that's how you get through uh, whatever. But working is always, especially if you're working for yourself, these little projects, your businesses, if your business owners are going to go extremely well, okay? Invest in green things, green energy, plants, all right? Uh, I'm hearing home farms or something like that. Like, I don't know. I don't think you're going to be able to get... Like, no farmland because Bill Gates and all that shit, but, like, uh, home greeneries and shit, greenhouses or whatever for when the shit and if people can come, you know, like that. Like, start setting that up. That's for somebody. Okay. Pineapple reconciliation. Okay. I just said people with this Mercury retrograde energy, it would be a visit. Is it, you know, I don't know. Uh, pineapples are very, very hard on the outside, but soft and sweet on the inside. So, there's a barrier something here but um i don't know how you want to look at that somebody want to have a baby really bad birth or conception of a child or enterprise so yes i said that marriage children business all this stuff looks amazing okay for you all right and someone wants to talk about a misunderstanding here's the great wall of china i don't know y'all like i <laughs> I ain't even finna get into the politics thing, but I don't know. That wall up there, somebody gonna come see about a misunderstanding. All right, they gonna come to the crib. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You're like, you see me is giving some Tony Montana. Like, I don't know. What if Tony Montana was resurrected or some shit? Like, I don't know. Uh, pineapple. Somebody was like, quick, quick. I don't know. They said pineapples is a safe word or something like that. I don't know. I, hopefully, we got everything we need on our end and the Americans that somebody pull up to the crib. But I feel like somebody pull up to the crib. But I'm trying to focus on maybe that's why he said the greenhouse. I don't know, child. I really, you know, I want to keep it light today. I ain't trying to, spirit be trying to throw me up like all this stuff. And I'm like, listen, I, uh -huh. okay, this ain't the politics, whatever. But y'all motherfuckers know it's a war going on or do you? I don't know. I, I don't know. <sighs> oh, that just threw me all the way off. Like, I'm trying to chill here. <sighs> None of that matters, okay? You got the keys. I just said that the other day. Like, you got the key. Successful outcome 
to your problems, period. Whatever it is, however it's looking, all right? Just go ahead and just move forward, all right? I feel like you've already been given instructions um, on what you need to do, okay? Some of you writing, all right? Processing that family trauma here, but overall, this successful outcome, the key, like, you good, man. Listen, I gotta get out of here. Let me know in the comments, okay, what you think, what your plans, what you're going to do, how you're going to manifest, how you're going to bring all this in, and uh, I guess send me a picture, <laughs> okay? All right, listen, uh, like this video, share, you can tip the bartender below, book a reading, I love you with the highest love, one.